President, Mr. Commissioner, hardly a day goes by without a terrorist act. Terrorism is a fulminant infection in the body of our society. Like any infection, it will keep spreading, if untreated, until it incapacitates or even kills the patient. Drastic measures are called for, and some of these measures are controversial and undoubtedly infringe somewhat on personal freedoms. But on balance, I think they are necessary. Strict personal data protection in, a, in an ideal world is paramount, but in a terrorism-sick world, concessions, unfortunately, have and must be made. Exceptional circumstances call for exceptional measures. This, I feel, is the spirit with which we must look at decisions on combating terrorism. If, if we absolutely have to choose between some minor compromises on personal liberties and a much more effective way of fighting terrorism, it is my opinion that we should choose the latter. I conclude with the following question. If promoting certain atrocious crimes like pedophilia on the Internet is a crime, and rightly so, why shouldn't it be so for promoting terrorism? Thank you.